Welcome back, people, to Explore the Adventure. We are here in traffic again, on the way to work. And uh, I wanted to do an update where last night I had more vibrations. And uh, surprise, surprise, it happened through a lucid dream. Except this time, in the lucid dream, I willingly brought about the vibrations. So what happened last night was I was dreaming. I don't particularly remember the dream. All I remember was that some intense shit was going on, some really dramatic shit was going on. Uh, but other than that, I remember the dream moving along to the point to where I was in water. I was swimming around in water. And it was very similar to uh, if you go to a Greek bathhouse, the water is very clear, clean, warm, there's like white pillars. At least that was my perception of it in the dream. But basically, yes, I was swimming around in this warm spa-like water. And the water was pretty deep, about like, I don't know, six to eight feet, maybe, because my feet weren't touching the ground. And uh, as I was swimming around, I realized, hey, I'm dreaming. So I was just like, cool, awesome. I'm lucid dreaming. So this time in my lucid dream, I'm starting to realize that even though I'm lucid, even though I'm aware that I'm dreaming, the way that I'll act within the dream is still determined by habitual mental patterns. So if I don't set a certain habitual mental pattern for the lucid dream before I enter it, then whatever's already set is gonna happen. So because in my mind I've been playing over and over the fact that dreams may be a translation of our subconscious mind and may give us clues to what's going on in our overall just life in general, at least subconsciously, at least how our brain is kind of filtering things out, how it's sorting things, how it's kind of just interpreting the experiences around it. So I felt like going around and exploring. I felt like seeing things. And for some reason, even though I can't pinpoint the exact details of this, because this lucid dream was actually a lot longer than I usually experience. I actually walked around and I remember seeing certain environments, certain buildings, certain structures and people. I remember looking and going, hey, like, I feel like I've seen that structure before in a previous dream. Or hey, I feel like I've seen that person before. So what I did was I approached this person because he looks so familiar to me. And I said, hey, uh, you seem really familiar. Where do I know you from? But he seemed to be like going somewhere in a rush. He was just like, like, oh, I've got to like, I've got to get going. Uh, don't talk to me. He says something along of along the lines of like we got to get going We got to get out of here. No time to talk, but feel free to follow me. So This is the part where my memory gets kind of hazy So from my research in astral projection, they said that when you're first experiencing uh, Projection you should actually keep it as short as possible so that you can remember it I think the same thing goes for lucid dreams or something similar goes for lucid dreams. Because for this lucid dream, I decided to prolong it and keep it a lot longer than usual. And it was kind of crazy. It was like, there's a lot of sunlight like shining through the window. If you prolong the projection state for too long, then you're not gonna remember what's gonna happen while you're projecting. So for this lucid dream, because it was so long, there's certain parts of it that are hazy in the middle of it. But what I can tell you though is, there was this person. There was this person and for some reason, he kept following me. He kept following me and I would have to like, I would have to defeat him. I would have to kill him. But the thing was, he couldn't die. So every time I defeated him, like he'd be like lying there, I'd run away and then he would just regenerate or something and then he'd come back. Later on in the dream, that's when I 
saw the guy who I found familiar, or maybe it was before. You know what? This is really hazy. I'm trying my best to relate this dream over to you guys, girls, people. So not only is this guy chasing me, but there's this other guy that I'm kind of following. And I notice, again, as, as we're running, I notice similar patterns in this dream that are similar to previous dreams, like physical buildings, uh, different levels of being on the building, ascending different levels or descending different levels. Because as we were running, the major thing that I remember is jumping through an escalator or jumping down an escalator, like kind of going deeper and deeper. Eventually, as we keep running, as we keep running, I reach the bottom and then there's another person there to greet me saying like, like, okay, this is as far as we can take you right now. Uh, but you're going to have to go alone from here, but you can do it. Something like that. And it was like, I don't know, there was just this, this kind of big, fat, warm guy telling that to me. Yeah, this is, yeah, it's, it's really random, but uh, he seemed to be some elder of some sort, but anyways, as I move out of the building, I enter this scene where I'm actually at a beach. Right when I'm at the beach, I realize, you know what, for some reason I got the feeling that the dream was over, that the lesson in the dream was over, so I said, hey, I'm gonna try to astral project now, now that the lucid dream is over. So what I did, all I do is focus. All I do is create an intention to project whenever I'm in a lucid dream. It's like a certain feeling. When you're meditating, you're basically shifting different gears of consciousness. I think I said this in my previous video. So what I did was I shifted my gear of consciousness to a point to where not only I was a bit more awake, but I was also focusing on, I guess you can call it your third eye, you can call it your pineal gland, but I was focused on that area. And as I was focused on that area in the lucid dream, as I slowly woke myself up, then bam, the vibrations came out again. And again, it wasn't as intense as the first time but I could still feel it ringing throughout my head, throughout my body, and it was, it was, it was cool. It was just like, hey, this is the third time I've done this. This is great. So, yeah, it's it's ringing throughout me, and well, I feel like I was a bit more impatient this time because I wasn't able to see anything. Plus, this is this is different because the previous two times that I've been able to achieve the vibrational state through the dream state, it was during an afternoon on the weekend. Now this was actually on a Sunday. This is actually, no, this was last night or this morning. This was this morning around maybe four or 5 a.m. because when I woke up from the experience, it was about, it was about 5.30 in the morning. So yes, this was a different instance. Because this was a different instance, because it was so early in the morning, I don't know why, but I've been, really uncomfortable in my room lately kind of like the feeling that I'm being watched like I'm not the only person there and I'll randomly get that feeling it'll randomly come and go sometimes my room feels really nice really comfortable and then sometimes I'll just feel uneasy it it's really random I don't know what it is I can't really concretely say exactly. I can I can make assumptions to what it could be, but I don't really have any hard evidence to what it is. Uh, but that's kind of a discussion for another time. But anyways, because of that, I was, as I was going through the vibrational stage, even though I said clarity now, even though I said, allow me to see my room right now, I couldn't see anything it was really dark or maybe maybe I did maybe I did leave my body for a bit but I keep hearing stories of how when people leave their body sometimes at nighttime it can be very dark like very gloomy and maybe 
I experienced that without even realizing it because honestly I couldn't see anything everything was just pure darkness but or maybe I did it who knows but anyways the fact of the matter is there was no conscious awareness of myself actually projecting out of my body for all I know I wasn't able to do it so just the vibrations happened I said clarity now uh, I couldn't see anything the vibrations faded away and then I was just back in my bed but while I was doing that I was also feeling a sense of fear a sense of oh my god what if I see something horrifying or what if I see something like really traumatizing I was feeling that again so that's probably also what kept me inside of my body just that feeling of fear because I don't want to leave my body at four in the morning and see some weird shit staring back at me and then having that haunt me in my waking days but uh, shit like I hate saying this but if I keep astral projecting some shit like that is inevitably going to happen <laughs> at least once I hate saying that but I have to I'm gonna keep trying so next time next time what I'm going to try to do is I'm gonna wait for the vibrations to actually ebb away and fade away instead of actually thinking about it I'm going to try and relax into the vibrations and then as the vibrations slide away and kind of ebb away that's when I'll say clarity now that's when I'll make an intention or feel the intention to slowly kind of move outwards oh yeah I've also bought Robert Monroe's book journeys out of the body and uh, so far I've read the first couple chapters it's pretty fucking amazing it's so cool anyways time for me to go I'm almost at work I will update you next time thanks for tuning in peace